The Omada SDN controller offers three levels of access available for users, Main Administrator, Administrator, and Viewer. You can also create new account roles and customize their permissions to access different features. Main Administrator has access to all features. The account who first launches the controller will be the Main Administrator. Administrators lack permission for some global privileges such as Global Log Manager and some global settings including cloud access, migration, and auto backup. They have read-only permission to some global modules such as License Manager, Cloud-based controller only, and Role Manager. Viewers can view the status and settings of the network and change the settings in Hotspot Manager. The entrance to the account page is hidden for viewers, and they can be created or deleted by the main administrator and administrators. Custom roles can be configured to access different features. They can be created or deleted by an account with role manager rights, usually the main administrator. Multi-level administrative accounts present a hierarchy of permissions for different levels of access to the controller as required. A main administrator can see all accounts of the controller. With user manager permissions, an administrator can see itself and its created accounts and subaccounts. This approach ensures security and gives convenience for management. Since the controller can be accessed both locally and via cloud access, users can be further grouped into local users and cloud users. In this video, we will show you how to create custom roles, local user accounts, and cloud user accounts of different levels. Select Global from the drop-down list of organization in the top right corner. Go to Account, Role. Click Add New Role. Specify the role type name and customize the permissions for the role according to your needs. You can specify access permissions for each module. Modify means you can modify and view the module settings. View Only means you can only view the module settings and block means you don't have permission to access the module. Click Create. The new role will be displayed in the role list. You can edit or delete it later as needed. After you modify a role, the access permissions of the user account bound to the role will be automatically updated. The account that first launches a controller will be the main administrator. The main administrator cannot be deleted, but can be transferred to another account, and it can create, edit, and delete other levels of user accounts. Click the Edit button in the Action column, enter the password, and you can check and edit the account information. If you want to change another account to be the main administrator, click Permission Transfer. Select another account from the drop-down list and click Apply. The new account will be the main administrator and the old account will become an administrator. Check the box if you want the current user to receive emails about alerts of the privileged sites. You can enable two-factor authentication as needed. With two-factor authentication enabled, you'll need both a password login and a six-digit token automatically generated by the Google Authenticator app when logging into the Omada controller. This provides a much higher level of security. Detailed instructions can be found in the user guide and another video. Click Add New User. Select Local User for the administrator type in the pop-up window. Specify the username and password. The username should be different from existing ones. Select a role for the created user account. Administrator, viewer, or custom roles if you have created one. Assign the site permissions to the created local user. Select all if you want the created user to have device permissions in all sites, including all newly created sites. Select sites if you want the created user to have device permissions in the sites that are selected. Select the sites by checking the box next to them. Enter an email address for retrieving passwords and receiving alert emails. Note that if you want to use this email to retrieve passwords, you should enable cloud access on the controller. Check the box if you want the created user to receive emails about alerts of the privileged sites. To use this feature, you should have configured the mail server feature.
the cloud-based controller only has cloud users and the account that registered the cloud-based controller will be the main administrator. Software and hardware controllers automatically set up the cloud main administrator if you have enabled cloud access and bound the controller account with a TP-Link ID during the quick setup. The username and password is the same as that of the TP-Link ID. If you have an enabled cloud access and bound the controller to a TP-Link ID, select Global from the drop-down list of organization in the top right corner. Go to Settings, Cloud Access, to enable cloud access and bind your TP-Link ID. Go to Account, User. A cloud main administrator with the same username as the TP-Link ID will be automatically created. The cloud main administrator cannot be deleted. You can log in with the cloud main administrator when the cloud access is enabled. Click Add New User. Select Cloud User for the administrator type in the pop-up window. Enter an email address of the created cloud user. Select a role for the created cloud user administrator, viewer, or a custom role if you have created one. Assign the site permission to the created cloud user. Select all if you want the created user to have device permissions in all sites, including all newly created sites. Select sites if you want the created user to have device permissions in the sites that are selected. Check the box if you want the created user to receive emails about alerts of the privileged sites. To use this feature, you should have configured the Mail Server feature, and click Invite, and then an invitation email will be sent to the email address. You will see the newly created cloud user account in the user list. A check mark will appear after the invitee accepts the invitation, indicating the account is verified and can be used. Go to the invitee's email address, and you'll see an email sent from WMATA. If the invitee does not receive the email, resend the invitation. Click the link in the email, and you will be directed to omata.tplinkcloud.com. Log in with the invitee's TP-Link ID. Click Accept Invitation. You will see this newly created cloud user account has the permission to access the controller. Go to the user page, and you can see that the newly created cloud user account displays a check mark, indicating it is verified and can be used. 